Thank you very much, guys. Again, DAZN pay-per-view, August 5th. Just a minute ago that he was surprised how nice you were up there towards him. Did you expect something different? We're not more fighting awesome? today. We're not fighting today. You know what I'm saying? I'm a professional. I'm a professional athlete. I'm not running around getting fights like they're making me out to be. They got these uh, young YouTubers out here making attacks for clout and, uh, you know, message sent. Don't f with me. I ain't f with you. Was that pretty disrespectful, you thought, with his team set there about your brother? Uh, it, was, it was just amateur. Jake, what were you think, what were you thinking when he walked out? I just I, he's just such an interesting man. Like <laughs> what, I've never seen that during a press conference. Uh, but I guess he probably had to go pee really, really badly. I, and I didn't think he was coming back. I definitely didn't think he was coming back. So I think he really just had to go pee. No, I mean. Nathan, Nathan's an interesting guy. <laughs> you, you, you've got to watch him fight so much. It's almost like you know what to expect, right? Early on, he's going to start slow, but he's going to get stronger and stronger as the fight goes on. Do you have to kind of train and prepare for that specifically, knowing that, like, hey, I might beat him up for four rounds, but he might still be there and come on stronger in the fifth and sixth and seventh? For sure. This is going to, you know, my cardio is going to have to be on point more than ever, more than any of my other fights. And knowing that he's going to try to survive to the later rounds, and I guarantee you that's part of his strategy. So we're, we're working and focusing on that. Do you sure. think he's going to take more damage than any of your opponents before? You know, you said you've dropped all the guys you fought. Yeah. He's a guy, like, he gets dropped, but he gets back up. He keeps fighting. Do you have to sort of say to yourself, right, look, if I don't get him out of there, I have to stay composed and just keep going? Yeah, for sure. But I also think that in boxing, it's just different. The, the way boxers punch, the way I'm taught, my technique is different than the MMA fighters. That's why you've never seen Tyron Woodley get knocked out like that it's just it's just a different style and there's more weight on the end of the glove so when that's coming to swinging at you it's like a sledgehammer were you upset when he choked your brother out in New Orleans <laughs> I, I think he's a bully like choking out random dudes on the street you know he's always getting into fights always causing trouble so I'm excited to go in there August 5th and bully the bully what did you make of his demeanor today I, sometimes we see more trash talk from him but he seemed a bit more calm yeah he was like calm respectful I don't know it, it was it was interesting I, I wanted to get him riled up because he talked that sh uh, on social media he says everything in interviews but today when I was face to face with him he acted like a